We are invited by Intel to create a collective interactive experience for the Ultrabook. We want to have it visitors engage with the product through touch, movement and sound on a personal level of creation. People come in and they sort of, they create something. The touch side of things was really important, just to let you do a really simple interaction, like just uh, moving your finger across the screen and then having that um, create this rather complicated shape. So that obviously uh, drove the creation process. Our concept was to create this living world that would sort of be displayed on this large screen and we would use the Ultrabooks to act as a tool to create different types of designs and creatures to exist in that world. One of the key things was the Ultrabook product itself in terms of showing off the capabilities of it, making the most of the gyroscope and the touchscreen, and really using that as the kind of tool in which the public can create this collective artwork. On the larger screen here, we have the host machine, and this is essentially the world that we're going to be connecting to with these Intel Ultrabooks. The first step involves shaping your plane. The next step, we get to paint the glider. Once we're happy, we move on to the next step where you get to preview your plane as a 3D model here. Now the final step, when I hit the next button, it's gonna show up on the larger screen here, and that's, that's our creation. Now once you've launched, you go into a point of view mode. So you're essentially riding in the cockpit of the plane you've just created. And if you tilt the device from left to right, up and down, you get a variety of different angles on the creation you've just made. There's a few aspects of this project which make a, a typical universal thing project. One is it's kind of furthering our line of inquiry into how you can bring life and anthropomorphism to inanimate objects. So how you can create this graphic shape and suddenly bring it to life by having its wings flap and have it fly around the screen. Another is exploring the, the tension between giving a user freedom to create things, but it's still being guided by an aesthetic parameters which we have defined in the first place. So that's our input as artists. The end result is by the public. The idea of these gliders and the simple process of folding a piece of paper in half to create a wing, we, we saw that as representing many different things. You can see it as a leaf, you can see it as a butterfly, you can see it as an aeroplane. So it can be interpreted in many different ways according to who is creating it. And once you launch it onto the main screen in the space, then it truly is left the nest and it's released into the wild. What you see is a vast dark space, and in that space is a, a big variety of flying gliders swarming around the space. They, they follow each other, they avoid each other, they fly into formations, they perform aerobatic. For me, visually, it's, it's all about freedom. It's all about these individual species, each with their own personality, all flying in the same shared physical environment. Movement, really about you know, feeling some sort of warmth and beauty in technology and I think you know that's the key thing for us is to squeeze some of that